So, take two. <laughs> I'm Leslie Nope, and with me is department member Tom Haverford. We are here to answer any and all of your questions, so fire away. Well, it's a great day because uh, last month they put me in jail. That's right. The, uh, the head of the police is a ninth degree mason. But the music is so loud. Stop the graffiti, please. Please. I don't like obscenities j uh, just as much as you don't like no, them. No, it drives me crazy. I have kids. Right. But I've I... got my little three-year-old, and I'm going through the park, and someone's like, hey, my And the guy's, you my you head. These people are members of a community that care about where they live. So what I hear when I'm being yelled at is people caring loudly at me. Now, I have a few things I want to say about Laura Linney. Thank you so much, Barry. Always great to have you here. Anyone else Hi. who would like to contribute? Hi. 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 I'm Ann Perkins. Uh, I'm a nurse, and frankly, I don't really care for politics. Uh, but um, I'm, I'm here to talk about the abandoned lot on Sullivan Street. Excellent. That sounds like a good idea. Tell us about that. No, it's a problem. It almost killed my boyfriend. Oh. Yeah. There's a lot nearby my house, and a developer dug out a basement for some condos, and then they went bankrupt. So there's just this giant pit, and it's been there for almost a year. Twelve months, yes, go on. Yeah, and um, my boyfriend, who is a musician, actually, I support him, but anyway, he fell in and broke both his legs. And let me speak with you for a minute. So your boyfriend fell down into this pit, right? Yes. And um, this guy, is it pretty serious? You guys living together? Yes. Wow, uh, I'm sure this must be really tough for you, you know, just this guy it sounds like he didn't have a lot going on for him to start with and now both legs broken, he's just weak, you have to take care of him, you probably feel like you need to move on, what? just become more adventurous in relationships with your body, just in... Are you, are you actually hitting on me right now? Oh, oh, God, no, I'm not, I'm not hitting on you, I'm actually married. I'm just an open person and I like connecting with people. I'm, you know, very comfortable around women, attractive women. I've spent a lot of time with them and I just, I, I don't know, I feel like we might be taking up too much of the forum's time. Maybe we can just exchange numbers, you know, if we go away one weekend and just kind of talk about this. Look, I'd love to do it. The bottom line is I've been trying to get this thing fixed for months and nobody's done anything, and it's ugly, and it's dangerous, and it's government-owned, and you need to do something about it. Okay. I'll do something about it. Really? Yes, we, I will help you. Is that a promise? It's more than a promise. It's a pinky promise. I pinky promise, all of you, that I will help and I will go to that location tomorrow, and we will fill in that pit, and then when that's done, we're gonna put a park on the land. Wow. Okay. Well, I've worked at the Parks Department for six years, and I've handled a lot of things that I'm proud of. Recently, I led a citywide drive to disinfect the sandbox sand after we had those problems with the cats. This pit, the chance to build a whole new park from scratch. This could be my Hoover Dam.